Thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your monthly October 2020 tarot card reading. Really looking forward to delving into your situation for your individual zodiac sign this month. If you haven't already and you would like to check out your free three card reading, you can do so by clicking the link down beneath this video. It's 100% free and it looks into your past, present and future situation. Each of the tenses is written specifically for the position the card is pulled in. So this is not a generic reading, it's more tailored exactly to the question that you're asking. But without further ado, let's get into this month and see what the cards hold for you. Hello Taurus and thank you so much for joining me for your October 2020 tarot card reading. So earthy Taurus, love Taurus. Um, let's see what comes up for you this month. So your, your card that is your present is pretty uh, insightful actually. It's kind of intense. You know, you've got this major arcana card um, and this is the High Priestess. This card is just just one of my favorites in tarot. There is so much to this card and we could probably do like an hour long video just on this card itself. But she represents life itself because in a lot of tarot decks you will see her sitting between two pillars and those pillars represent uh, the duality of our existence. Now that might sound a bit heavy but what does that mean? Well. To be completely detached from that, we would have to be, you know, a soul uh, and not have a human body. Passed over, basically. But as we are in that human existence, she represents us in that form. She also has this book of knowledge. She's a secret keeper. And she knows pretty much everything there is to know. So... She doesn't, though, get involved if she's not asked. Now, this is really why I think this card is so, you know, insanely um, complex. Because if this is you in your present situation, Taurus, it means that you perhaps know something. And you're perhaps wanting to share that knowledge. This could be a secret. This could be something that you found out. Or it could just be that you've got a lot of knowledge from your life experience. The problem is, the High Priestess knows that she shouldn't really share this knowledge unless she is asked. So if you are about to get involved in somebody else's life because you know something you know this could be perhaps you found a friend's partner is being unfaithful or perhaps someone around you is setting up a business and they're going about it the wrong way and you feel that you have some knowledge that would help them whilst you're trying to do the right thing I just feel it's like that old saying about shooting the messenger right I think you could get an earful from just trying to help so I feel for this month Taurus it's just about you waiting it out and saying the truth when you really feel it's right if you have any doubt in your mind whatsoever just wait it out uh, that's what the cards say obviously you must always follow your own gut uh, obviously if anybody is in danger um, then that is a completely different story uh, and you must do what is morally right in that situation. You are blocked here by the Three of Wands. Now the Three of Wands is about uh, enterprise, it's about new horizons and it is about travel. So uh, what you have in common with Aries here is they had this card as their blockage in exactly the same position. So I feel that this could be to do with coronavirus in a lot of ways. This is about lockdowns and restrictions being implemented again. Um, perhaps just at the time you were booking an important work trip or even a vacation because you're just so done with 2020 and I totally uh, can relate to that and um, so there could be a little bit of disappointment um, in terms of you wanting to move forward Taurus and then you know the energy this month it, it could be at the start of it anyway just holding you back a little bit but we'll move on to see what your foundation card is to clarify this more well, wow, this is an absolutely fantastic foundation card to get Taurus. This is money, finance, wealth, security. And it's in the location of your foundation. 
So I feel some good news could come this month if you've been waiting for news in terms of something that's going to help you financially, whether this is a grant, whether this is some help from your local uh, government type agency. Um, I feel that you could hear some news. This could be a raise or a, a new job offer even. So in a lot of your circumstances, and obviously it's going to be different for each one of you because this is a general reading, but I do feel that financially or at least feeling secure, uh, you're going to have a lot more of that this month, which is just going to give you massive peace of mind. Now, your past situation is the Ace of Wands. Another Ace comes up. The Ace of Wands is coming up with all these new ideas. It's very fiery. Um, but even though it is a fire card, I've always felt personally it has an earthiness to it as well because... It is literally made of the earth, so it's kind of got that fire earth feeling for me anyway. Um, so I feel like with this coming up, you've had so many ideas. You just want to get cracking on with it, Taurus. Um, a lot of your energy sometimes can be fixed. It doesn't necessarily want to break out and, you know, try all these different things. Not because you're boring, but because, you know, I feel you've got to have some tangible results to what it is you want to achieve. Achieve. However, lately, I feel as though you've kind of just thrown your rule book out the window a bit and good for you. Um, everybody deserves to have that bit of, um, you know, youthful glee in their life where they just try and uh, manifest some, uh, <laughs> some carefree-ness into your situation. So your card here that is spiritually crowning you is the devil. Please don't be afraid. <laughs> um, the devil isn't as scary as he looks. The problem with the devil is he really represents our material world. But the, the negative side of our material world, so things we can get attached to, this can very often mean addictions. This can very often mean attachments to unhealthy relationships, onto attachments to unhealthy foods or drinks, attachments to things like objects. So this can be a hoarding type of situation. It's when we can't let go. It's, it's, we've gone past the point of enjoying the item or the person or the situation and it almost becomes an obsession or a need and that can be really damaging to us so spiritually I feel what this month is telling you is to just you know please let go of things at your own pace because very often when we just quit things you know cold turkey whatever it may be uh, it doesn't always last for the long haul so you know maybe reaching out for some advice or guidance but just be kind with yourself but start to make the steps to make the healthy changes that you know you need to make um, it's going to be different for everybody and I don't want to sound like a school teacher telling you what to do and um, you already know what it is but it's just some confirmation that if you were looking for some confirmation on to give up on something that is hurting you, this is the confirmation. Um, so your immediate future here, Taurus, is the Page of Pentacles. He's such a cool guy here. He's still trying to learn about his finances. He's still a bit playful, might overspend at times, but you know what? That's all part of learning and that's all part of the process. So um, I feel you may be a little bit more frivolous this month in some way, particularly if some extra funds come in. And as long as you, you know, stick to what is comfortable for you. I don't see that there is any problem in just spoiling yourselves a little bit. Um, you know, he's not got to the king or queen. They're very good with money. They're very good with resources. Uh, the page is still learning, like we said. So yeah, there are still lessons that you're coming up with and learning, but enjoy the process and don't be harsh on yourself. If you buy yourself, you know, those clothes, um, don't regret it. You deserve it. So, your state of mind is death. We have another major arcana card. The third one, I think, yeah, the third one in this series. Again, death, please don't be afraid of him. Um, he doesn't look like the happiest guy. <laughs> like, if we take a close look at him, there's like, 
all you standing on somebody's head I mean I know it doesn't look very charming but death really represents transformation um, in Greek mythology this is the river uh, guide the riverman who takes your money and escorts you to a new plane of existence. Um, and these, some of these planes of existence are wonderful, uh, wonderful places, the Elysium Fields, all these uh, beautiful places that we can go to in the afterlife in uh, Greek mythology. So don't see death as a frightening thing when it comes up. See it more as a transitional period. And I feel because this is your state of mind, you are going through some kind of transition if you have just come out of a breakup or you know come out of a relationship then it is so um, I hate the word normal but it's very common for people to want to change their look up you know cut the hair dye the hair you know a lot of us have been there so please don't feel alone if you're wanting to shake up your world in some way because when you have been through a lot of stuff Sometimes part of that transformation is actually transforming yourself in some way, physically, um, as well as spiritually and mentally. So that is definitely something that's going to be on your mind in the month of October, I feel, Taurus. So your outside influence is the Three of Cups. This is so happy. You know, this three represents community. It represents family. It's some kind of celebration. It could be that you're able to attend that wedding that you couldn't go to because of the lockdown. It could be that there's a christening or a new baby or the announcement of some kind of engagement, Taurus. I think whatever this outside influence is, is going to really leave you with a smile on your face. And it's some really good news after a particularly rocky time. Uh, it's going to just, you're going to really welcome it. Now, your hopes and fears are the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, you can feel a little bit apathetic. So I think this could be a worry for you, especially if in the past you've had all this fire and energy and now maybe you've worn yourself out a little little bit. Um, but the Four of Cups is, is not always what it seems. It's a bit of an illusion because whilst, you know, cups can be spilled over, there is one right in front of you offering you a new life. So there is going to be some grieving. There is going to be some transformation, letting go. Maybe you'll overindulge a little bit. Maybe you'll let go of some bad habits. It is going to be that seesaw this month. But please don't judge yourself for it. You know, you're, you're transforming, you're changing, and you'll go at the pace that you are meant to go at. And then your outcome card here is the magician. So by the end of the month, you're really manifesting in a big way, Taurus. This is about you using all the tools at your disposal in order to create a new life for yourself, a new existence for yourself. So, you know, we've gone from this a bit fiery energy, finding out some kind of secret, not knowing what to do about it. But then at the same time, you're going through your own stuff, you've had your own grief, and now you're actually wanting to change and shake things up a little bit. And good for you. So there you have your monthly reading for this month. Thank you so much for joining me again. It's a real honor to spend that time with you and for us to share that space. If you did feel inclined that you wanted to reach out for a one-to-one -one with myself or with Patrick, you can find that information in the description box beneath this video. But until we speak again next month, take care and stay safe. Alyssa.